students today i will go for the the next part of the electro chemistry that is the secondary cell and what is the meaning of secondary cell when i will tell about the secondary cell this is a rechargeable cell means those type of cell can be used again and again by recharging it so those type of cells has both the function that is it can act as both electrochemical as well as the electrolytic cells for example if you go for the inverter the inverter consists of a lot of chemicals and when we are just using the electricity from the outer sources it start to recharge and when it start to recharge it store the electrical energy inside the cell as in the form of chemical energy and under that condition it can act as an electrolytic cell because here the electrical energy is converted to chemical energy or other form of energy here it is stored in the form of chemical energy and when we are using this inverter when the electricity is not in our home at our home and we are using this inverter under that condition what will be happen this chemical energy which is stored inside the inverter help to produce the electricity so it start to discharge during this time and during the discharging it act as an electrochemical cell so i can say during the recharging it act as an electrolytic cell and during the discharging it act as an electrochemical cell it act as an electrochemical cell now i will tell about the lead lead dioxide cells which is one of the cell we are using also as an inverter and this is also we are using as a vehicle battery and what is the we are using the two types of electrode one is your lead and another is your lead dioxide and we are using the diluted sulfuric acid inside it and generally we are putting the sulfuric acid with the density of 1.31 g per cc inside the cell and during the time period or during the discharging period when the density of sulfuric acid decreases it should be above 1.20 g per cc if the density of sulfuric acid becomes below 1.20 g per cc then the cell will be totally die dead and under that condition we require some sulfuric acid again to make it recharge so we are using some of the we are using in the battery indicator which indicate that this is the point on this point the sulfuric acid density start to decreases and we are using the inside the battery there is a marker will be there and when the battery start to discharge from day to day day to day the level start to decreases and when the level decreases if the level moves down this point that indicates that if the level moves down this point that indicates that our density of sulfuric acid will be less and it becomes 1 point less than 1.20 g per cc when the level of the indicator is moving down this point and when it is in between this that indicates that the density of sulfuric acid decreases from 1.31 g per cc to 1.20 g per cc under this point we can use or we can add the water to recharge it and why we are adding the water this point i will tell when we will go for its when we will go for its reaction part so let's say think that the battery is fully charged and we want to take it for the discharging so under that condition it act as an electrochemical cell during the discharging it act as an electrochemical cell let the battery is totally charged so what will happen first of all here we are taking the sulfuric acid the sulfuric acid start to ionize to give it will take two mole then it gives 4h plus and 2so4 two minus ion now the lead electrode 
react with the SO4 2 minus ion and will be converted to lead sulfate plus 2 electron. So it is converted to lead sulfate plus 2 electron. So here the lead oxidation number is 0, here the lead oxidation number is plus 2. So lead is come undergoes oxidation. So as the lead undergoes oxidation, so this is act as an anode. And we can say here at as it is act as an electrochemical cell. So this anode is acting as a negative electrode. So I can say this anode lead is your negative electrode now. And here it is your <coughs> anode during the electrochemical cell. Now the lead dioxide <coughs> react with the 4H plus ion from the sulfuric acid with the another SO4 2 minus ion and also it is converted to lead sulfate with release of water lead sulfate with release of water if i want to balance it lead one lead one sulfate sulfate one four so i'll write two and oxygen is balanced so here what is the charge this is four plus this is minus two this is plus two so here the two electron is required so this is the reduction reaction and here who undergoes reduction that is the lead <coughs> the lead oxidation number here is plus 4 and here the lead oxidation number is plus 2 so lead undergoes reduction and when the lead undergoes reduction that indicates it is act as a cathode and we know in the electrochemical cell the cathode is positive so this is the positive so this lead dioxide is act as cathode and it is your positive charge now so what is the net cell reaction so if I will go for the net cell reaction then the 2 electron 2 electron will be cancelled I can write now Pb plus PbO2 plus 4H plus plus 2SO4 2 minus give rise it gave 2 PbSO4 plus 2H2 so during this discharging time during this discharging time the lead react with lead and lead dioxide react with the sulfuric acid this is the sulfuric acid and gives lead sulfate plus water that indicates that the sulfuric acid start to consume so the density of sulfuric acid decreases is it so due to this reason the density of sulfuric acid decreases and we are getting the water and remember as we are getting this water this water can be electrolyzed due to the presence of this lead electrode and gives H plus and OH minus so it can be released from the battery and due to this reason the water level inside the battery decreases and for that reason we are adding water when the indicator start to this is the let's say indicator of the battery when the indicator indicating it is moving downward and that indicates that it loses water due to the electrolysis of water and at that the same time the sulfuric acid density also decreases so under that condition we are adding the water <coughs> to make the level of battery and it start to it help for the recharging how it help for the recharging i will tell because this water start to reduce from the battery so we should add water why we are adding water because it help to again recharge the battery how is it so this is the part i told for the discharging now we'll go for recharging of this battery so how we'll go for the recharging look it during this recharging it act as an electrolytic cell so when it is act as an electrolytic cell anode will be positive and cathode will be negative so here which part is anode anode is positive so i have taken this lead dioxide is positive so this is now act as an anode during the recharging so here anode is positive now i will reverse this reaction anode is positive means this reaction should be oxidation so uh, anode means it should be oxidation but here anode is positive and cathode is negative so i will reverse the reaction how will reverse this look at what is the anode anode is now the lead dioxide the anode is positive so it becomes lead dioxide so what should be the reaction just oppose it just reverse this reaction of the anode so i can write now pb so4 plus 2h2o give rise PbO2 plus 4H plus plus SO4 2 minus and plus 2 electron. So this is the oxidation reaction taking place at anode. And here lead undergoes oxidation because lead oxidation number here is plus 2. Here lead oxidation number is plus 4. So lead undergoes oxidation. Now we'll go for the cathode part. 
cathode is negative so here the lead is negative so the reaction of the lead will be reversed here so what is the reaction you have written for the electrochemical cell for the lead you will just reverse it so what will be the reaction in this reaction the pbso4 will be give pbso4 react with the will be give pb you have written pb plus so4 2 minus so pbso4 will be give plus 2 electron will be give pb plus so4 2 minus this is just reverse reaction i have written here <coughs> so this is the reduction reaction lead oxidation number here is plus 2 here is 0 now what is the net reaction the net reaction will be also reverse so the now the net reaction will be 2 pbso4 plus 2 electron 2 electron will be cancelled plus 2 h2o give rise that is pb plus pbo2 plus 4 h plus plus 2 so4 2 minus so now this lead sulfate react with the water gives lead and lead dioxide with release of sulfuric acid that indicates that this water help to produce the h plus n and so4 2 minus n that indicates the sulfuric acid density increases and due to this region when the water start to electrolyze we have to add water during to increase the density of sulfuric acid and under that condition this cell is act as an electrolytic cell but remember nowadays we are using this lead lead dioxide cell by just converting the electrode into lead calcium alloys why because on converting the electrode into lead calcium alloys it prevent the electrolysis of water so as it prevents the electrolysis of water so your water will be not evaporated or what will be not removed from the cell as in the form of hydrogen and oxygen gas and due to this region we are just changing the electron nowadays by taking calcium lead alloys and for that reason nowadays when we are using some battery vehicles a battery in the vehicles we are not adding water to it so this is one of the secondary cell i told and why this cell is called rechargeable cell because after recharging it we can use it again so in the next class i will tell about the fuel cell